Today DJI released two new versions of the Mavic. It is called the Mavic 2 and it comes in a pro version and a zoom version. Now they are two different models and one model has some benefits over the other and I'm going to explain in this video a few things you may or may not have seen anywhere else and just give you guys hopefully a bit of information and you might help you actually make a decision or at least let you know if your existing equipment will work with it. So talking about the models themselves, as I said, they come in two versions, the Pro and the Zoom, and basically the differences are only the camera. The rest of the model itself is virtually identical. So both models have all new round object sensing, both models support 100 megabits per second, H.264 and H.265. Both models have an all new OcuSync wireless system and they have a slightly upgraded RC as well. Talking closely about the Zoom model first, this has the same size sensor as the original Mavic Pro, however it's now been upgraded to include a 2x optical zoom, so that's 24 to 48 millimeters. This new camera also has been tweaked in the background as well and it now gives up to 13 stops of dynamic range. DJI have also fitted it with an all new hybrid autofocus system, which means it's able to do that focus up to 40% faster than it could on the original Mavic Pro. Because of this new camera and onboard processing with, along with the zoom, it's also got some really cool features. And one of these is called 48 megapixel photo. And what it basically does is stitch nine images together to create this super high resolution image on the SD card. Now this image is all stitched on board the processing inside the aircraft. So you don't have to mess around with software. You simply tell it to take this high resolution photo and it will do it for you and stitch it and put it on the SD card ready to use. It also has digital zoom as well and it has up to four times lossless in 1080p mode and the zoom model specifically has something called dolly zoom and dolly zoom is that weird effect where it keeps your main subject in the same place but also almost folds the background around it as it moves and this is done with a combination of moving the aircraft as well as zooming the camera at the same time so it sort of zooms the camera in and moves the camera back now this is an automated mode and it's done within the aircraft itself and we're probably going to be seeing a lot more about this in the near future the zoom model also has HDR photo as well as something called hyperlight which means it's able to take really good detailed images in low light conditions. Moving over to the new Pro model, this one has a 1 inch sensor Hasselblad camera. Now DJI bought Hasselblad some time ago or at least invested in them and this is the first time we've really seen the fruits of that investment. And this camera as I said is fitted with a 1 inch sensor, it is able to record at up to 4K 30 frames per second, in 2.7K it can record at 60 frames a second and in 1080p it can record up to 120 frames a second. There is also this all new 10-bit D-Log M color profile. Now this has been developed in combination with Hasselblad and this color profile will give you some absolutely fantastic 4K HDR footage. Now there is a caveat to this is that it will only work in the H.265 codec. It won't work in H.264. So if you do use that, you will be stuck with the 8-bit codec. But if you move over to H.265, you will be able to benefit from this new D-Log M color profile that Hasselblad have made. The only downside to using H.265 is not many computers are optimized for it and only really the latest Intel processors fully support hardware decoding so if you're going to edit with it you're going to need to make sure you've got a really really recent machine otherwise you'll find it will slow down to a complete crawl. The camera also has an electronic shutter only, so if you are into your mapping and you're using things like Pix4D, this may not be the ideal model for you, unlike the P4 Pro that does have that mechanical shutter. Finally, it has one more party piece, and that is that it has an adjustable aperture. It is f2.8 to f11, and that means this camera is also going to be absolutely fantastic in low light conditions. This is the first camera on a drone of this size to have a fully adjustable aperture and is going to change the way we take photography when you're using this model. Another little interesting thing to be aware of is as the camera is square, the ND filters are going to be a bit different, and I believe they are held 
on magnetically. Now, Polar Pro have already released their filters for this model and they're available to pre-order now, but DJI will also be putting out some ND filters as well. Talking about the rest of the craft itself, as I mentioned, it has this all new omnidirectional object avoidance. Now, it still has two cameras on the front like the traditional Mavic. However, these have now been upgraded and they work in combination with the main camera to give you better object avoidance than we have ever had before. And it will now use all three cameras to 3D map the environment around it. And it will give you real time object avoidance faster than we have seen as well. It has two object avoidance cameras on the back and these are proper cameras. They're not just infrared sensors. And there is also one on the left and the right hand side to give it all omnidirectional. Now those again are proper cameras but the side ones only work when you are using active track or you are using tripod mode. On the top it uses an infrared sensor so it still has object avoidance from the top and on the bottom you still have the same VPS system. However this has also been completely overhauled and it now works better than it ever has before and they have included a new torch and basically it has two ultrabright LEDs on the bottom which shine a big light on the ground and it's then able to see and use that really precision hold even in very low light conditions. Now this is something new we've not seen on a DJI drone before. All of these sensors come together to still work with APAS so it has that automatic autonomous flight modes where it will automatically avoid objects for you and as I've said it has this new active track 2.0 which works better than we've seen before. Now obviously as these drones go into people's hands we're going to see how well this new system performs as time goes on. Moving over to the RC, it still has a very similar remote than it had on the original Mavic Pro. However, they've upgraded the two position switch on the other side, which was the mode switch to now three positions, and it now has a position for tripod mode. The wireless system has also been totally overhauled and it has something called OcuSync 2.0. This is up to 1080p in eight kilometers. Now, this new system offers lower latency than OcuSync and it gives better range than we've seen before as well. Now this is a dual band system just like the OcuSync A system with the goggles RE. However, one new feature is, is that it's able to change frequency band, so change from 2.4 to 5.8 in flight automatically. And whereas previous models to change band, it wouldn't do it automatically, now it will. That means it's able to switch dynamically and give you the best possible signal. So if it picks up a lot of interference when you take off and switches to 5.8 gig, when you get out of range a little bit, it could switch back to 2.4 to give you the best possible range. And this actually specifically addresses some of the issues people were getting with the Mavic Air because it would often select 5 gig on the ground and give you quite poor range. Whereas reality, you needed to force it to select 2.4 and that would give you your best possible range while you're flying. As I mentioned, it does use the new 100 megabits per second H.264 and H.265 codecs, just like on the Mavic Air. And it does have an all new power system, which means the batteries are not compatible. That power system has been upgraded to 4S and the battery system is completely different. So if you've got batteries for your Mavic Pro, unfortunately, sorry, they're not going to work with the new Mavic Pro 2. Because of this new power system, it's got up to 31 minutes flight time. So you've also seen a little bit of increase there and it's got the all new ES sees like we saw on the Mavic Pro Platinum and the new props as well which make it nice and quiet. The reports I've seen appear to say that it is a bit quieter than the Mavic Pro Platinum but I haven't seen it myself yet so I can't really say. Finally, some other things I wanted to mention. This system will be supported by the DJI Goggles White Edition and the DJI Goggles RE. They don't work today, but DJI have said after a firmware update, they will work in the future. That also does mean that the Mavic Pro remote will work too. And DJI have said that they will be updating the firmware on that to work as well with the Mavic 2. So if you've got a Mavic Pro already and you wanna keep that and use that RC with the Mavic 2, you will be able to do it once they release that firmware. The last very interesting thing DJI said was about the cameras. If you bought the Mavic 2 Zoom today, there will be the option in the future to upgrade the camera to the one inch model. Now you won't be able to do this yourself. DJI have said you will need to send it into them. However, they will be offering a camera upgrade service. 
This is the first time we have seen this from DJI at all and it sort of goes back to the old Phantom 3 Advance and Pro days with the aircraft itself was absolutely identical and the only differences were the cameras. And while DJI didn't officially themselves offer an upgrade, users were able to upgrade by changing the camera model. With the Mavic 2, you will be able to send it into DJI and they will do it for you. Finally, I'm gonna say which model would I order. Now, I don't have one on order, unfortunately. It's not something I'm able to do at the moment. But if I was going to order one, which one would it be? Well, for me, it is a total no-brainer. It would be the Mavic 2 Pro with that one-inch sensor. Whilst both models have their benefits and you don't get all of the features that you get on the Zoom on the Pro, like the Dolly Zoom, because you need the Zoom feature for that, that one-inch sensor with that D-Log M color profile is an absolute no-brainer for me. Now, as I mentioned, it does have an electronic shutter, which means the guys who are into their mapping probably is not the best model to go for. However, with HDR video, with this new color profile, it is absolutely something that really has got me quite excited and that's the model I would be pressing the button on today. Talking about price and availability, well, if you order this today, it will pretty much ship instantly. DJI have it available now. Guys who ordered it this morning are already receiving shipping notifications. So DJI were clearly ready to get this one to go. Accessories are also listed and available on the DJI website as well. So they have put a huge amount of effort into making this product available for people to purchase straight away. Talking about price, the Zoom version in the UK costs £1,099 and in the US it costs $1,249. The Pro version is more expensive, costing $1,299 in the UK and $1,449 US dollars. Finally, there is a Fly More Combo 2, but instead of it being part of the drone package, it's actually a separate accessory type now, so you just add it to your basket. In the UK it's 279 quid and in the US it's 319 dollars. That is it for this video. If you're going to order your Mavic Pro 2 or your Mavic Zoom 2, there is some links in the description of this video. If you would like to support this channel, please do use those links. It doesn't cost you any money, but it does allow me to keep purchasing products to allow me to make videos to show you guys. If this is the first time you're watching this video, please do take a look at other videos on my channel and do subscribe. And if you've seen anything you like, please click the like button as well. Thank you very much for watching and I will do another one again soon.